You know, in this state of the country, you can't, you can't eat your cake and have it. Either you give us enough policemen or don't complain about crime. Eh? You, you, you know, we have a parliament which is bigger than the one of the size of the parliament of Britain. Did you know that? Our parliament is the size of the parliament of Britain. Britain's economy is 200 times the size of Uganda's economy. They have about 600 MPs. We are 541. 500, about 54. We can't afford. You know, you. How eh? Uganda work on Amdagani? How can Uganda have a parliament the size of the British parliament? And you don't have enough policemen. The other day I was telling somebody that uh, I was at a wedding and I was telling them that I don't come to parliament because I, don't, I used to talk for 15 minutes. Now I have to compete for three. Because there are so many, you only, they are only requested three minutes. What do you say in three minutes? I have not even said what I wanted to tell you and I've sp spoken for more longer than three minutes. Eh? I said, what do you say in three minutes? Oh, I said, oh, no, no, no. They represent their people. Yes, but if I talk about the issues of Rohinda, he talks about the issues of, of West Madama, he talks about the issues of Untungamu. Who is going to talk about the issues of Uganda? If we concentrate on the issues of our constituencies, who is going to discuss national issues? Where do we get the resources to support these two institutions? Support a robust police and a robust parliament. Well, it's not your fault, but I'm telling you some of the challenges we have. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you some of the challenges we have. Yeah. That sometimes we are forced to do things which have no meaning. And it's not that, you know, but, but because people demanded for districts. The president gave us a district. If you don't give, we shan't vote you. The man says, okay. <laughs> Since you want, what do I do? <laughs> now you create a Frankenstein. We need enough police officers. So since you wanted districts, you are going to pay tax to get police officers. In yeah. Rinyankore, they say, the, he who commits suicide, the, the, we don't whip for, whip for him or her. When you commit suicide, they don't whip for they don't whip for you. In Uganda, they actually dig a pit and cut you and you fall there. Yeah. Because you are the one who killed yourself. Yeah. The Ugandans are the ones who created this problem. Yeah. You can't have a big parliament and you want a big police force and you want to feed them, yet you have one cow. One will suffer. So, one will chora. You give me your manpower requirements, I'll go and talk to this wonderful parliament and say, this is what I did. <laughs> At least it will be put on record that Ochora and his team saw what they wanted and said, if you want us to be efficient, this is what we want. It's on record. So you don't complain. From a position like mine, a position of no advantage, and then you strive. But when you reach somewhere and you find someone is behaving as if you should first have sought their permission to reach where you've reached. You know? And you don't question this. Because I've seen some of the senior leaders, especially in my party, the NRM, trying to question the newcomers the young people, issues of ideology. Ugandans are facing serious problems. The biggest crisis we are facing as a country is not a, a crisis of ideology of political parties. It's a question of unemployment. It's a question of rising cost of food, rising cost of living, and it cannot be solved by ideology. It cannot be solved by going to Changkwans for training. <laughs> no way. And, and of course, yesterday someone sent me a video. There's a 
social media videos uh, where a professor was telling the story of uh, Albert Einstein uh, when he was lecturing at Princeton University in 1920 and he gave an exam and then the assistant came running to Albert to say, Sir, Professor, you've given last year's exact exam. You've given it for the finals of this year. You've repeated the same examination paper. Sir, the professor said, so what's wrong? He said, sir, you made a mistake? And uh, Albert Einstein replied by saying that, uh, no, the question is, might be the same, but the answers are different. <laughs> the questions of 1986, when some people came from the bush, might be the questions of today. But the answers are totally different. Answers are not those ones where you have to remind us that you came from the bush, you had guns. No, the narrative is totally different. <laughs>